Hey folks, Mike at SB Reflights. Gonna give a quick walkthrough on how to set our Wi-Fi lights up. Gonna make a couple videos. First one is just how to set it up straight through your phone. And the second video to be released soon will be showing how to set up multiple units through your home router. So, first of all, we've got the 16 inch. We've also got the 32 inch. A couple units I've been uh, tinkering with, so I don't have the legs or anything hooked up. Uh, but I at least wanted to show how this, uh, how this works. Now, one important thing to recognize is that your phone only has the ability to connect to one Wi-Fi item at a time. And that's a limitation of your phone, not the lights. So you can either connect to one light, disconnect, connect to another light, or you can connect to a router in your home and then the router will connect to multiple units up to eight at a time. So today I'm just gonna show you how to connect directly with the lights. I've got a sample ramping schedule here. You have 10 times that you can set throughout the day. On each time, you can set intensity for each of the three channels. So you can create up to 30 set points total uh, for your ramping to create a sunrise and sunset effect. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is connect to the actual Wi-Fi signal. So on your phone, if you'll pull down your Wi-Fi, whatever you're currently connected to, for example, here I'm at Waterworld Wireless, uh, one of our local fish stores here in Pensacola that carries our line. And I'm gonna go ahead and cl uh, click that. And that's my only choice. So now if I go over and turn on the light, <clears throat> watch the green light, it'll go solid, then it'll start flashing. And when it's done and just flashing, that means that the Wi-Fi signal is being sent out. So give it just another second here and it should start blinking. There it goes. And now this should refresh in just a second and we'll see embed sky and again, we want to connect to Embed Sky, and that is the security code. Now, I've already connected once, so it's not going to ask me for the security code, so I'll go ahead and connect, let it do its thing. But for you, it's going to ask you that security code the first time, which is 430273021. All right, so we are connected to Wi-Fi. So now, I'm going to go into the app. Now, we have a brand new version of this app, so if you still have the original, um, I'll have that uploaded on the web page sometime today or tomorrow. It's a little bit different in how it operates. It works a little bit easier. Uh, there were some problems with setting times with the old one where if you, if you didn't get the times exactly lined up, it would go dark in between segments or it would tell you uh, that you can't start the next time interval because the other one isn't over yet. So uh, we made it a little easier to program. So you go ahead and open up the Smart LED app. And on the bottom, We've changed that a little bit as well. And so now you have a master power right here and a master off on the other side. In the middle you've got devices, manual mode, and smart mode. And so right now I've clicked devices. And these are devices that I've already linked up with in the past, so they're gonna be uh, stored in memory. Uh, for you, the first time through though, you're gonna hit the magnifying glass. And it's gonna search for devices and it's saying, hey, I found that one. And notice it says added already on the side here. On yours, it would ask, do you want to add? You would say yes, and then you would have to name it. I named the 16-inch S-Box Extreme Wi-Fi. On yours, you could name it uh, right unit, left unit, unit one, unit two, unit three, whatever you want to call it to help you keep your different units apart. If you've only got one, you could just label it Reef Wi-Fi. Uh, that's totally up to you one way or the other. Once you've got it, you can go back to devices, and now if you look the light is on if I now hit the on off <clears throat> now we're all the way 100% on now we're off now we're back on and now we're back off again <laughs> so you can use this to change your power you can also on the bottom, use those buttons, and I'm back on, and now I'm off. Back on, and off, and all I'm doing is I'm just hitting these quick buttons right here to turn it on and off, which is kind of cool without having to go into those modes. Um, if we go into manual mode, now I get to pick the three channels that I want to set the intensity for. Uh, the fourth channel we don't use. Uh, this particular software is made to run a multitude of different types of lights. Uh, so certainly 
you know, and maybe agriculture or some other type of situation, you might have multiple channels, up to eight actually, I think it'll do. We do three, the uh, white channel, the blue channel, and the moonlights. So to set this, we need to first always select a device. Anytime you go into a new mode, whether it's manual or smart, uh, select your devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick, select devices. It's gonna pop up a window on the bottom. I'm gonna click the one I want, which is the extreme Wi-Fi. 16 inch. I'm going to hit confirm. Now this is important because a lot of people are forgetting confirm. They're hitting back on the screen. It disappears. They think they're connected. It should say number of devices. Let me get to focus. Is one. Now what's important is I have to hit start. So I hit start. And now I should be able to grab this and control my light. And as you can see here, see how I'm bringing up the intensity. Or I can take the white all the way down. to zero. I can change the blue. There's the blue. And there's the moonlight. So let me take the blue all the way down. There's the moonlight. And I can bring it back up. Bring the blues back up all the way. And I'll bring the whites up just a little bit. A little bit more. A little more. And keep going. It's kind of hard to see on the phone because every time you increase intensity, it it uh, resets its uh, ISO settings. But uh, again, that's all you're doing. So you just grab the line and you drag it down where you want, and that changes the intensity. So that's your manual mode. Now, anytime you go from one mode to another, you have to select the new mode, you have to select the devices, and you have to hit start again. Otherwise, it thinks it's in manual mode the rest of the day. So now we're going to go into the smart mode. Okay, so now we're going to program in the smart mode to do the ramping. So we finished with manual mode. I'm going to click smart on the bottom. And now that brings up my programming screen. Now there's a default in here. You guys can ignore that. It's just kind of to show you how to set it. But what I want to do is add a new mode. So I'm going to hit the mode button. That's going to ask me to label it. So I'm going to call this test. So I'll tap in there. And let's go ahead and type it in. And we're just going to call this test, hit enter, confirm I mean. And now you'll see, when it focuses here, we've got test on there. And notice it's blank. So now I'm going to add some times. Now I've got a little bit of time to work with. It's 11.15. I'm going to set a very short ramp just for display purposes and have it start at 11.30. So that'll give us a couple minutes. So all I'm going to do now is set my first one. So I hit add timer. And it brings up my channels to set, just like in manual mode. And notice it automatically pulls up the current time. And this is the start of each cycle. So all I have to do is go in here. And if I scroll, I'm going to change this to 11.30. And then I'm going to set what I want. And so at 11.30, I want to have the whites, let's say, off. And then I'm going to have my blues at about 20-something percent. And then I'm going to have my moonlights... Um, and we'll just have them at 82. doesn't really matter because we're just testing at the moment. When I'm done, all I do is hit save. Notice now, under test, which is highlighted, I have one time set. My intensities are 0, 28, and 82. Now I'm going to add another timer. And because I'm just testing the process, I want to make sure it works. I'm just going to do it one minute later. So I'm going to go to 1131. And this is where the next one. So this timer is actually going to hold whatever the last setting was until the next interval. So now we're at 1131. And now I'm going to bring my whites up, take the blues all the way down. And I'm going to hit save. And now you'll see you have two set points. And now I'm going to add one more, just again to show what's going on. I'm going to make this one 1132. And then we'll go back up on the, uh, the white and back down on the blue. And then I'm going to hit save. And so what we should see at 11.30 is the lights uh, turn on. We should then see it go to 100% on the white, zero on the blue. And then 100% on the, uh, actually I got these backwards, let me change this real quick. So we got that, let's take, let's take the second one. And by tapping it, I can now change it again. Let's take the blue up and take the white down. Because we want to see a drastic change. And now I'll hit save. And now notice I just changed it. So you can edit these at any time you want. So I can set all 10 of my ramping points in here up to 30 points total when you factor in the intensities. And I can save it under test. Now, 
I could also, for example, if I have a program I really like, but eh, I want to change the, the intensity a little bit, see how my corals do, I can make a new program without erasing the first one, and I can always reload it very quickly. Now, once you've got your set done and you're happy with it, you then have to select devices. And so I hit select device, and then I select the 16 inch. I hit confirm, that's important. And then when I hit start, and notice the light's on, when I hit start, it's now gonna go out of manual mode and it's gonna go into ramping mode. And look, the lights are dimming down to my setting. So now we're gonna see if things change at 11.30. Now in the meantime, I want to go ahead and put this on my other light. And so this is where it gets a little confusing. Right now, this light is set, it has the program, and I am going to turn it off. Now the Wi-Fi signal is gone, and so I'm gonna go in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and connect back to the store for a moment, just to make sure that I'm not on Embed Sky again. And we are connected to Waterworld Wireless. And now I'm gonna go over here and turn this light on. And I'm gonna wait for the green light to start flashing. <clears throat> and as soon as it does, it should show up on my Wi-Fi choices. So right now I've got Waterworld. And we'll give it a couple minutes and it should show up here in a second. There it goes, it's flashing. And Embed Sky, show up for us. There it is. And so now I'm gonna to connect to Embed Sky. It's the same password regardless of which unit you use. And so now we're connected. And now, this is cool, all I have to do is hit select device again. This time, take that one off and put on the 32 inch. Hit confirm. And then once it's confirmed, I hit start again. And the intensity changed immediately. And now it's in the ramping mode as well. So now I could go into manual mode with this unit if I wanted, I could do whatever, but right now I've actually very quickly put the same program in both lights. And so now I can actually exit the app and then just turn on the other light, which still has the program. And now both lights are running together. Now, if you wanna make sure that both lights change time at the exact same time, the other thing that you can do is go into uh, the settings and you can do Oops, I'm going all over the place here. Let's get back to devices. Under devices at the top is the settings button, and there's one called synchronize time. You hit that, it says it's successful. Now, that light, which is what we're currently hooked to, is synced in with my phone time. If I do that with the other unit, they should change exactly at the same time. So we're pretty much done, and now we just have a waiting uh, game 10 minutes from now. We'll come back and see what happens. Three cubes are popular. All right, we are now within a minute, so we're just going to kind of keep an eye over here and uh, see what goes on. All right, so there's the first change. And then a minute from now, we should see another change. So I'm going to hit pause for just a second. All right, we should have a change here in just a second. We're getting close. Hey. How's it going? And there's your next change. So that is how you set the ramping on here, it's how you set the fan, and again, the, the main important thing is that once you've created the program, which you can do offline, you don't even need to be connected to the lights, make sure you select the device, hit, confirm, hit start, and then once you're done, turn the unit off, turn the other unit on, go back in here, connect to Embed Sky again, select the device, confirm, hit start, and now the second unit will be programmed, then turn the first unit back on and they'll store that program until you change it into manual mode. And that is it. Thanks again, guys. Make sure to visit us at www.sbreeflights.com.